Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to Transport Fever 2. This is the Longland map. Uh, last time around I got uh, the uh, uh, refined oil connected up to plastics and fuel uh, refining. This time around we're going to get the uh, we're going to get the uh, uh, plastics connected up to the um, uh, what you call it? Uh, goods uh, production. Now, uh, this is going to require uh, connecting this station up to this main line, and I'll show you why in a moment. Uh, but first, we need to get this down over here, and that's going to require uh, peeling off a track, kind of like this. Okay, now over here we come out. Ah, yeah, I think the, I think we come off flat. Okay, uh, then we need to bring the second track off. Yep, uh, and then we just uh, wang that into there. That doesn't look too terrible. Um, that's probably better. Okay. I just pressed N, uh, I think it was, to uh, drop it down. It might have been M. Uh, yeah, so it didn't make a, a lump above the train. Okay, so that gives us that. Uh, so we're going to need a connection here. Yep. Uh, and we're going to need a couple of signals. So we're going to need one signal here. Yeah. Uh, we're going to need one signal here. Uh, and I'm going to put a pair of signals here. Yep. Now, for the reason to connect to this main line, so this main line comes down here, um, and then it can connect across to here, and then this main line comes down like this, and we can come along here, and then we can pop in this way. Or, we can stay on uh, this main line, run through here and around this way and around this way and then down through here and across through here and then up uh, right uh, across through here and then down into here right uh, what I think is the the most sensible uh, connection uh, now here we've already got uh, steel coming in yeah uh, and we need to get the uh, plastic coming in. So the steel is coming in down this track through here, right? Now this connection doesn't, it, it actually gets to this uh, main line here. Uh, you know, we could come across here. Uh, we come through here. Uh, and then we can come around here where we get onto this um, this operation up across the top here and then we can get uh, through stuff up here and I think that's the connection I'm going to rely on uh, at least initially we can uh, make this a little more efficient uh, later but that means I'm going to try flinging a train at this right away and just see what the pathfinding does yeah uh, okay, so uh, we'll use this depot again. Now this is going to be boxcars. Uh, now the, we're going to use the class 9000 again, uh, as we were using it last time around. Now cargo, we need boxcars uh, for plastics. Uh, now that carries 8, that carries 12, that carries 12. So we'll, we'll take this boxcar here. Right, and we'll run a fairly uh, hefty train here. Uh, we're going to need two of these at least. So I'm going to run two of them. Right. Now, I'm going to pause the game while I do this because I want to uh, see what the uh, routing does. So we'll come down here uh, over to the here, the here. And note that it did in fact route it. Uh, and this is going to be, 
Uh, this is going to be a New New York Plastics to Emerald City uh, Goods Factory. Uh, okay. Now, uh, we're going to change this to Emerald City Goods Factory. Factory. Yeah. Okay, good. Right. Uh, now, uh, we're going to activate this. I uh, close that. Uh, I want to see where it's routing. So it comes up here. It goes through there. It goes through the platform here. Uh huh. It goes through the platform. Uh, you know what? That's probably fine. And then it comes around here. It gets onto the main line. It comes across the top where there is, by the look of it, some transport capacity through the platforms here. Yeah. Uh, comes across onto this through uh, this line. Uh, it comes around here where we're uh, tangled up with these Naffy's wagons. Uh, and where we come around, we wobble along here. We come through the platforms here. Yep. And then we come around through the platform here again. And we continue along uh, on the busy stretch of main line here. Ouch, that is busy. And then uh, into here. That is, in fact, uh, a, a valid route. And I'm that that was the route that I thought it would take so uh, we're going to uh, let that happen uh, so I'm going to uh, let this uh, start we're gonna grab this guy and we're just gonna jump on board initially now I think to make this actually work we're gonna have to do some uh, uh, adjustments on the uh, traffic on this line uh, and that's going to involve uh, upgrading uh, the trains to have stronger uh, locos along here. I think we're going to have to do that or this part of the line is going to bottleneck severely. Right, because now we've got the queuing. Uh, so if we jump out of here, we've got a queue here, and we got a train here. It is moving. But we've got a lot of queuing here. And it's because everything struggles along here. Getting up the hill here, right? Uh, everything struggles. Uh, and, uh, yeah. Uh, so, uh, but it all moves. Like, it's not a, uh, I, I mean, it's queuing but it doesn't completely block everything. And I suppose that's uh, a critical point here. Stuff moves. Uh, but if I was to uh, take a look here, uh, let's make sure that one doesn't close. This guy, you know, they're really slow. So if we were to go and look at here, we've got lots of trains on here. Now, if we manage these, these all carry 216 grain, right? There's 10 of them. And they're using A35s. Now, if we replace that with a, uh, a steam, with a class 9000 again, right? And uh, these are carrying how much? 216. Uh, so if we, and these are uh, uh, gondolas, right? gondolas yep so if we replace it with gondolas that carry 12 um okay uh, those are 175 meters um let's replace those and see what happens uh okay so we'll close that. Those might be a little bit too long. Uh, ooh, I didn't replace all of them. 
right. Uh, manage vehicles. Um, right. Uh, replace. Uh, gondola. Okay. Locos, class 9000. Yep. Yep. Okay. Replace. Bam. Okay, those will move, uh, those will accelerate better now. Um, so hopefully that will uh, allow this stuff to move a little bit better. What the, what? 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 Well, that is bizarre. Okay, now it's moving. Uh, so everything got confused. Okay, that has cleared the uh, traffic jam. Okay. Uh, that's cleared the traffic jam. So let's... Uh, Let's jump on board uh, our train heading for the goods factory uh, and see uh, see if it gets uh, bottled up anywhere else. Ah. Uh, right. Uh, these guys, that's our train. These guys with the naffies that have... Uh, yeah... Yeah, these guys need to be uh, managed vehicle. Yeah. Okay, so they're 40, 160 capacity there. At, um, okay, so if we replace those, uh, we'll stick a class 9000. And we need uh, cargo. Uh, naffies. Get the better naffies. Uh, one, two, three. These have 160. We're at 160 already, and it's only 260 meters. Three hundred and seventy-four meters seems too long. We'll go 305 meters with 192 capacity. Yeah. Okay. Um, right. Those should uh, move better with the class 9000 pulling them. And the, uh, the <laughs> driving through trains again. Uh, okay. Yeah, that should uh, that should make that move a little bit better. Uh, that's why I'm I'm riding this one here uh, the whole length is just to make sure it, uh, it it clears things properly, right? Um, yeah, uh, and just getting the uh, the busy parts of the track here with uh, decent um, you know better. Um, uh, capabilities uh, on the acceleration uh, will take uh, a lot of the uh, traffic jam out of the uh, the system uh, simply because uh, it removes uh, the need for uh, waiting for acceleration okay we've got a train in the way here uh, right Now, will that train clear before something else blocks the track? No. Okay. So I think I might need to bypass this. The other direction looks like it won't be a problem. But uh, this direction looks like it will. So 
So I might need to do a uh, bypass operation for this direction. Uh, maybe not. We may just need to wait a little bit too. Yeah. So that was a sawmill, right? Okay, now we come around here. Now we got the quad track section here from before. Um, I don't remember why it's quad tracked actually. But it is, so we're good. Uh, right. Oh, need to rebuild that tunnel. Okay. Uh, this tunnel is manky as anything. Okay. Uh, we are going to rebuild the tunnel. Yep. Back that up. Back that up. That gets even. Back that up. Okay. Now, uh, we'll bring this across here. Yep. Bring this across here. Yep. Bring this across here. Yep. Bring this across here. No, not like that. Like that. Yep. So far, so good. Okay. I think we need signals on uh, this other line here. Yeah, we do. Uh, okay, well, we'll put signals like that and like that. Okay. And continue on. Okay. So far, so good. Now, this is a long one. We might need four trains on here. Um, yeah, possibly four. Uh, okay, now we're coming through the... Uh, coming through the complicated part here. Ah, we've got a uh, platform. Yeah, another platform to ride through. Now what's happening? Is the train coming from the other way or did it just depart? It just departed. Okay. And through. Good. Okay. Well, that's going to work at least. Um, yeah, okay. We're, uh, we're headed down, uh, past the, uh, the steel mill now, I think. Oh, wow. That's a, uh... No, it's the, uh, lumber mill or something. Uh, right. Oh, it's autosave. Yay! It's autosave. Right, okay, now... Come on. Really? I do wish you could set a priority at signal so uh, the main line can always take priority over the side line. Uh, right? Um, yeah, that... Uh, uh, that does uh, cause some uh, uh, queuing problems when the priorities are kind of inverted like that. Oh wait, are we coming up to the divergence for the uh, the platform now? Uh, for the uh, the goods, I think we are. Yeah, we've got another uh, queuing issue here, but that's just because there's too much going on here. Uh, at some point, I'll need to uh, sort that out.
Yep. Uh, we're just about there. Uh, right. And in we go. Yeah. Okay. So this is actually not too bad. Uh, good. Oh, I see. We can go the other way out the back of it and we'll be able to get over the water too. Okay. Now there will be queuing going the other way as well. Uh, but it shouldn't be too bad. Okay, so we get to go we get to go in here first this time. Join the queue. Now this short bit here isn't too bad for queuing, I don't think. Because I think a lot of the trains uh, go off to the uh, first exit here. After we uh, climb the hill, uh, most of them diverge to the uh, other station, and uh, we'll, we'll stay on the uh, the straight through track. Yeah, uh, so that's not going to be a, a problem for the uh, the queuing. And since we're running a beefy engine here, we get up to speed quickly, so... <clears throat> yeah, that, that looks like it's good. Uh, okay, so this is the final uh, production connection. Uh, so that leaves delivering uh, uh, fuel and goods to half a dozen locations each. And we should be should be completed with freight. Uh, yeah, that I think should be uh, pretty much it. Hmm. Okay, that's uh, that was one of our other trains. Uh, okay. Good. We get to move. And now we're on the quad track going the other way again. Right? As we touch the edge of the world here. Good. Everything is, uh, everything seems, seems to be doing okay here. So, um, I just want to see the other, uh, uh, bit there with the congestion and we'll see what happens there. That's where the, uh, where we run through the, uh, other station platforms. Okay, here's the, uh, this is the one where we had a delay going the, the other way as we waited for the uh, train from the other direction to do its thing. To come in, park, do their loading, unloading, and turn around, right? Uh, okay. This network here is actually working a lot better than I expected it to. It's uh, surviving the uh, the train load uh, quite well. Uh, you might remember way back in the early parts all of the uh, pain that was involved in uh, getting stuff to actually work. But yeah, uh, you, you you've noticed that in the past uh, dozen episodes or so we needed to connect up something that's going any distance. We've only had to build a few little bits of track here and there. Uh, and that's, uh, I, I think I've said it before, that is the network effect for you. Uh, each bit of track is more valuable as uh, you connect more stuff to it. Uh, the same thing it goes in real life. Uh, and that's why uh, we need to be building more um, things like uh, 
passenger transport uh, lines, you know, rail lines, for instance, uh, it a lot of these uh, backbone lines that would need to be built don't look profitable at all. Or they look like major, major, major money pits, right? But they really wouldn't be if uh, they existed uh, and it made, uh, you know, if, if uh, government, for instance, were to subsidize them, uh, build them, then, uh, and also uh, get the uh, local connections at various point, strategic points along the way connected up, you know, as you connect more, you add more connections to the network that feed into these backbone lines, the backbone lines start carrying more passengers and it starts making more sense and it starts being easier to justify. Now, I'm not a big fan of China, but uh, they've, they've spent so much money in the past uh, 20 years on uh, high-speed tr uh, trains and, uh, you know, lines uh, all around China that they've got a huge network of uh, uh, rail lines that can move passengers all over the place. Now, they've uh, they built something like 30,000 kilometers of rail connections in, uh, you know, 15 or 20 years. Yeah, that's, uh, that's the sort of thing we need to do in North America. But uh, nobody wants to spend the money on it. And, uh, you know, uh, China's probably going to be in a world of hurt because they spent the money on it all at once uh, without the economic... Uh, uh, you know, uh, health to uh, support it. Okay, so we're definitely going to have a bunch of queuing here uh, as a result of uh, all of the stuff coming to these uh, platforms here. Like this massive station throat is uh, certainly not going to uh, help a lot of stuff. Yeah, we might need to do something else here so we don't get, uh, our trains don't starve. Um, do we get to go find? Yeah, we get to go now. Then again, it is freight, so if things get delayed a bit, it's not the end of the world, right? And once we get past this point here, uh, we get past the major uh, congestion point. And I think everything is basically clear sailing after here. Uh, you may have wondered why I put so many closely packed signals along here. <laughs> this is why. It allows you to run much denser train traffic. Uh, and you see that in real life rail lines as well. When you've got a lot of trains that you need to carry, uh, you know, you'll have denser signaling. So you can run them closer together. Uh, but eventually, uh, you end up with uh, a maximum capacity. And that line, I think, is basically at maximum capacity. Okay, so we're going to pick up how much? A full load. Um, that's not too bad. We've got the uh, Zephyr. Uh, okay. Uh, well, that is uh, plastics going to the goods factory, which is over here. Uh, yeah. Um, have these guys... Yep, yeah, they are... Well, they've got a bunch of steel. Uh, it accumulated um right uh there, there's not going to be any uh goods on the platform so um right okay well uh that's uh that's going to be all for this episode uh you know the uh riding the line fixing a couple bits of it and uh, that sort of thing uh, that was important here. We had to do that. And now uh, it's down to uh, building the uh, final delivery points for the remaining two uh, 
end uh, end goods. And uh, once we've done that, I uh, I think I'll look at uh, passenger connections and then uh, we'll see what we can do there. Probably build those electric or something like that. And then we'll see we'll see what we can do. Uh, but anyway, uh, there's uh, going to be probably at least four parts, uh, maybe six or eight, uh, connecting up the uh, final goods delivery. And uh, after that, there will be a number of parts uh, getting passenger service sorted out at each uh, uh, Metroplex. And I think I'll, uh, I'll focus on a Metroplex at each uh, and uh, sort out the, uh, the passengers uh, with uh, newer trams and everything else. And then, uh, and then after that, uh, I'll uh, consider the uh, state of the series. I'll keep the save after that and then uh, decide if I'm gonna go on to the new series or not uh, at, at that point or if there's more to be done with this map. Uh, regardless, I will keep the save. So uh, that's all for now. So go ahead, like, comment, subscribe. You know, the usual business there. Uh, that's going to, uh, uh, you know, make the uh, channel uh, uh, run better. And of course, you can also dislike if you prefer, uh, you know, that's cool too. And uh, aside from that, there's also the bell icon, which may give you some notifications you find useful, or it might not. Uh, and uh, yeah, uh, all that said, that's all for now. See you back next time.